Happy Friday, Centerville families. We have a big, long weekend ahead of us. We have Monday off, so don't forget. And going into that weekend or this weekend, I really want to take just a little bit of time to share something that we've been very intentional about doing, and it connects with our district strategic plan. And what, what that is, is we truly want to create a community here, a community where all of our kids feel welcomed, excited, feel like they belong, and are safe, safe enough so they can take those educational risks each and every day. And so I want to highlight a couple of things that we've been doing, and they seem like little things, but they all add up. First of all, we want to greet every single kid in the morning with a smile, celebrate the happy things that are going on. And if things are not starting well, we want to connect with them right away and give them some extra love and help problem solve with them. Secondly, I encourage all of our staff to get to know the students' names. Now, that seems like easy for teachers, but in the lunchroom, we have paraprofessionals who oversee a bunch of kids for lunch and they see different kids. They show such great pride as they get to know those tables and they'll pull me over and say, hey, I know my kids' names. Um, but that's important because once we know a kid's name, they know that we care about them. Also in the classrooms, as the day starts, many of our teachers are doing special greetings with the kids, some sharing time or even some unique activities. Our fifth grade each year has their annual swap meet where kids bring useless kind of items from home and they get to swap with each other. And what a great way to get to know each other, learn about each other, but also have some fun. Finally, uh, in terms of creating that welcoming environment, we really are working on our PBIS um, goals. And that is really just to create a, a place where there's respect responsibility where kids are making right choices and they're ready to learn. So if you see red tickets or white tickets in their pockets, that's because your kids are doing the right thing. So uh, that's one thing that we're just kind of working on right now, especially during the first part of the year, along with that, obviously we're hitting academics uh, along the way, and we'll give you more information about what we're trying to do to support your kids that way in the future. So the other things I want to talk about real briefly is this, it's starting to get cold out. And it's so up and down. I was out at uh, a gym class watching the kids participate and I was freezing. And I know a couple of kids were freezing. Please make sure your kids come to school either with a jacket or sweatshirt so they can um, be outside and feel comfortable. And who knows with our Minnesota weather. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. I just don't want them to be freezing their little butts off. And then finally, thank you families so much for your generosity during our direct drive. Um, so far, we've been doing a great job of trying to meet our goals. The kids are having some fun, having some ice cream and popsicles. And today they find out who gets extra recess. So thank you so much for your generosity. And let us know if we can do anything else to make it a more welcoming place, not only for your kids, but for you, because we do want that to be happening. And it's been a tradition here for so many years at Centerville. That's really why I love this school. Thanks and have a great weekend.